So, in our previous lessons, we talked about approaching our story and starting out our novel and I told you a few of my tips on what to do when you've just started your novel, something to help you along the way. And I hope you have started your book because it is one of the most fulfilling journeys you will ever undertake. But nothing is ever perfect. Every journey comes across some twists and turns and this is no different because sometimes when you have taken on a literary project, you might suffer a loss of inspiration, some flickering of the kind of passion which you had kindled right at the beginning of the project. And especially if it's a big work of uh, literature like a novel or a book and it takes a long time like a few months or even a few years, you cannot ensure that you will sustain the same level of passion that you started out with. Because we are humans and it's normal, right? And being artists, it's even more normal for us. So the layman's term for this is writer's block. And we all go through it. So what do you do when you actually suffer from this very common illness? Illness. I'm not exactly serious when I call it an illness, but you get it, right? So what do you do? My first advice is write about it. As a side project to whatever you're working on, express your feelings. In my previous video, I spoke about how you should write about what you know and what is truer than putting your most current feelings down on paper. Because when you're suffering a block like this, it isn't, you know, an insult or an invalidation of your writing capabilities. It is just something your story is going through, not something you're going through, but something your story is going through. You, your plot might be, you know, failing or your characters might not be coming out to be exactly what you planned on and it, need, it needs work. Everything needs work. Everything needs effort. So, if you write your feelings down, you, you keep up the flow of creativity, right? You, you keep up the practice of writing. So I recommend this vehemently. Write down your feelings. Write about writer's block. And Charles Bukowski said it himself, and I quote, writing about writer's block is better than not writing at all. Sitting in one corner and moping that uh, what is happening to me, why is my story not proceeding, is not the way. Just write about it. And it has worked most of the time for me, at least, that I write about how I'm feeling and it makes, it clears my senses more and it helped me along. And in fact, take on this assignment for this course and I want to see what you come up with. Imagine a character, your character, woke up one day and has suffered a loss of inspiration a loss of passion for their normal way of life. And this is a metaphor for writer's block. I hope you understand that. So your character, they are anything you want them to be, a teacher, an office goer, uh, a receptionist, an accountant, a scientist, an engineer, doctor, lawyer. They wake up and they have suffered a loss of inspiration for their career. What do they do? They have one day to figure out what to do. And this may, might take any turn and I'm not necessarily telling that, telling you that it ha there has to be a happy ending to this story and the story may be as long as you want it to be. But um, since we are doing it in a community, I would expect uniformity. So let's keep it at uh, 1.5 to 2 pages and I hope you all come up with them. I would love to read them. So your character woke up, is suffering a loss of inspiration. What happens to them? Now, I'm not telling you how to end them, end the story. It may not be a happy ending, but it will always be a happy ending for you at the end of the tunnel of the writer's block. Always. I promise. Now, now that you are comfortable expressing your feelings on paper, my second advice to you is make somebody read your writing out to you. It kind of freshens things up. This is something I adopt a lot when I am you know, giving poetry lectures and seminars or conducting workshops. A very important part of a workshop is your, all, of, all of your participants have to come up with um, 
a work of poetry or prose of their own right there and then and sometimes we don't the organizers of the event they don't always allot uh, the time the required amount of time for all of the participants to come up and read their work so i tell them that you go home and make somebody read your poem out or your uh, story out to you because in the life cycle of your story or your poem you are the creator you are giving birth to it but it has a long life to live it is immortal mind you any work of literature is immortal you are giving birth to it and then it lives on through whom through your readers so getting their perspective is very important and so, i mean if you go big time you might not exactly get to know what all of your readers are feeling about it how they are all receiving it so feedback from your readers is very important and not just feedback how they are relating to it how much of themselves they can find in your story is very important right so make your readers read your work out to you as a very personal project i'm not saying just you know, hunt someone down at the bookstore see that somebody has bought your book and you say can you read my poem out to me that might be creepy i mean as socially awkward as we artists are supposed to be like that would be crossing a line so a trusted family member or a friend make them read your story out to you it feels fresh you can step out of this mesh in your mind and you free yourself from this spider's web of writer's block and loss of inspiration and everything and start anew it helps i promise it helped me and finally and finally here's something that is very philosophical so to say but it i hope it will help you along when you suffer a block like this your journey through the story you're working on is a race track and in this race you are the only participant and if you fall flat on your face that is fine because there is no one else to bypass you and win this race instead of you it's either you or you or you again so if you fall down if you suffer a sprain if your story is you know breaks some bones it's fine because your finish line will be waiting for you only and nobody else this race is yours to conquer and nobody else can do it for you nobody else can do it instead of you again i assure you this is very normal and this happens to all of us and i would like to remind you that i would love to read all of your stories for this assignment let me repeat it i know i guess so the crux of the story is you choose a character they wake up one day with a severe sense of stoicness for their way of life and they have one day to figure out what to do about it and it can end any way you want disclaimer it is always a happy ending for the writer at the end of the writer's blocks dark tunnel but what happens to your character is completely up to you write a story of no more than two pages and let us share it in this community we have and if you want i will come up with a story myself so that we can all share and discuss our work together i hope this was helpful and i'll see you all later